Hi, I'm John Harris, and this is Chesapeake Lightcraft's Expedition Wary. The Expedition Wary is 18 feet 3 inches long, 36 inches wide, and weighs about 100 pounds. Chesapeake Lightcraft has had a long and happy association with sliding seat rowing craft. Our stable of build-it-yourself pulling boat designs includes single and tandem versions of the Annapolis Wherry, with more than a thousand built all over the world. We might have left well enough alone, but we wanted a wherry that was not only fast, but also at home in rough water and with a substantial payload of camping gear. The Expedition Wherry is decked in with four separate watertight compartments available for gear. The payload is over 400 pounds, more than enough for long, unsupported beach cruising trips. The boat is built stitch and glue style out of Okumi plywood. If you build the boat from a kit, our computer equipment cuts slots and alignment holes in all of the parts, allowing very rapid and precise assembly. You don't even need a tape measure. All hull surfaces are fiberglassed inside and out for a rugged layup that you won't mind running up on the beach or dropping in the parking lot. Creating a design that is fast and easy to build was tricky, but it was even harder to sculpt the hull with real performance in open water. The boat has lots of rocker, which yields benign handling and waves. The bow has a cutaway forefoot and plenty of volume up high to knock down spray and to discourage broaching in the surf. A deep skeg keeps the bow pointed in the right direction, even when it's windy. The water line is long and narrow, so in spite of the rough water ability, this is still a fast wherry. But it's stable enough for beginners or for experienced rowers to use in cold or rough water. A lot of sliding seat boats, if you let go of the oars, you're going over. This boat, uh, with its moderate beam, is actually pretty comfortable uh, without the oars. I can even let them slide inboard like this and uh, still have plenty of stability left over. It's a boat that uh, I feel very confident in, even in fairly rough conditions. Uh, of course, in plastic conditions like these, it'd be great for fishing or just seeing the nice birds. If you capsize, the boat has enough stability and reserve buoyancy to allow you to clamber back on board, bail out, and continue on your way. In calm conditions, I only shipped about a half inch of water, but you can actually flood the whole cockpit and still retain buoyancy and stability. A unique and handy feature is the ability to carry a passenger. Just loosen two wing nuts to shift the sliding seat forward. And off you go. Parasol and picnic basket optional. I enjoyed building and using this expedition where I wish I could load it up with a week's worth of stores and head down the bay right now. I think you would too. I'm John Harris.